All right, hey everybody, I'm Christine Morell, the founder of Gig Magic, and I'm here to talk to you guys about how to use this free online tool to book a paid show without a record label manager or social media. Get excited, guys, because you don't have to be doing open mics or free shows anymore. I'm about to show you guys how to find venues that will put money in your pocket to perform right now. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys how to find venues that Hey, again, there's this weird, you know, rumor or these weird thoughts and myths going around that everybody thinks that you have to perform a ton and hopefully somebody will discover you. Now I'm about to show you guys how you don't need an Instagram following. You don't need a Facebook following. You don't need any of those things. I have booked literally thousands of shows. I'm not exaggerating all over the world on six continents. Not only that, I've done that for my students and we've been able to book shows in sometimes as little as seven days using this method. No one else is teaching this because I made it up. So here we go. Let's face it. You don't want to be stuck performing at venues where they require for you to sell tickets. You don't want to be performing at open mics for free. We're going to dive in right now. I'm going to show you guys how to find venues that are going to put money in your pocket to perform. So let us continue on. First, you're going to go to yelp.com and you're going to put which city it is that you're trying to book in. So whether this is the city that you know, you are living in or the city where you're going to be traveling to or you want to book. So you're going to put it right there. For the sake of this tutorial, I just put Los Angeles. So what you're going to do next is I'm going to show you guys what not to look up. So on Yelp, this is what you usually put um, with what you're looking up. So most people would put live music venue, right? Well, I'm telling you not to do that. Why not? Most of the time, you don't want to search this because you're going to get directed to large venues like arenas, stadiums, you know, unless you're famous once again and you're, you know, selling thousands of tickets, they're not going to book you there. What you are going to want to book are different venues. I'm going to show you guys how to find that. But one other reason that you want to avoid this is because you're going to be brought to venues that will also make you pay to play. So if you're familiar with this term, what it means is they make you pay to play. They make you pay to perform. So either whether that is handing them money or they make you sell like 50 tickets to perform or they make you guarantee that the bar is going to sell $1,500 that night. And if it doesn't, you owe them. So let's say the bar only sells 200 bucks. You owe them $1,300 to perform. And that's not cool. I'm about to show you guys how you can perform and not owe anybody anything, not have to sell any tickets, not be responsible for anything except for providing the entertainment. All right. So the next step, most venues, you know, like I said, that are going to show up are the larger venues that require tickets. And that's whenever, you know, you put in live music venue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what you do want to put in. Okay. So don't put in live music venue because you're going to get these types of things. I mean, hotel cafe, if you're in LA, then, you know, hotel cafe is like this iconic place. We usually have to sell tickets or we have to pay. Or we have to be connected to a tour or we have to be famous. You know, there's a lot of things that come with that. So I'm going to show you guys right now, the terms that you do want to research, are the following and you're going to see a pattern bars with live music lounges with live music hotels with live music resorts with live music i mean look at all these things restaurants breweries winer wineries retirement homes you don't have to put live mu with live music pretty much all retirement homes want live music casinos same thing pretty much all casinos have live music um so you you'll be able to find all of these venues that need entertainers and I'll, I'll explain to you why this concept works this concept works because imagine if you owned a bar and every Friday night, there was 100 people that showed up and they bought one drink and then they moved on to the next bar. Now, let's say somebody came in and put on an amazing show and that 100 people didn't leave. And in fact, those 100 people stayed and they bought more and more drinks and they stayed all night. And now they're like, we want to come back and see this person every Friday. Wouldn't that person who was performing now have created amazing value, right? So as the bar owner, they're going to say, man, you know, Susie, the singer, you know, guitar player, you just did an amazing job for, you know, my people that came into my bar. They stuck around. They spent money. I want to pay you to come back every Friday. This is how it works. You just got to find places that already have built in crowds. Okay. You don't find a venue that requires ticket sales. You find places that already have crowds that go in bars, lounges, hotels, resorts, all that sort of thing. That's how you do it. And then you reach out to them. And I'm about to show you guys exactly what to do next. So step two, you're going to list the venues and the contacts. I'm going to show you guys how to organize that. So what you're going to do is once you start typing in, you know, bars with live music, lounges with live music, you're going to start seeing a list of places and you're going to get their phone number. And then you're going to write down what their name is. See how easy that is? It's just giving you their contact right there. You're able to write it down. So very easy. What I usually do is I create like a little word document or an Excel sheet and I start putting it down just like this. Look, see, I start 
listing as many as I possibly can. The more, the better, guys, because if you have to make 30 calls, oh well. You know, if you have to make 30 calls to get one venue to say yes, the thing is if one venue says yes, and let's say they pay you, you know, two to $300, let's say they pay you 250 a night, and they ask you to come back every Friday, did you know that that's $13,000 a year already? That's already almost $13,000. So by you just making 30 calls, 40 calls, even if it takes you 100 calls, don't get discouraged. You just need one venue to find you yes. And the more venues you contact, the higher the probability that they will book your show. So I want you to just be listing those on there. List every bar, list every phone number, and just get as many as you possibly can. Now, step three, you're going to start contacting your list, okay? You're going to call each venue. And you're going to say, I'm going to show you exactly what to say, okay? But a few things you're going to do, you're going to introduce yourself. One, the second thing is you're going to ask them if they do have live music. You know, sometimes Yelp isn't always completely accurate. So make sure to check, make sure that they do have live music. Then you're going to find out what kind of acts they book to make sure that you fit the description. So let's say that they fit a jazz trio and you're a rock band. Well, then obviously that's not a place that you're going to want to try to perform there unless you have a jazz trio. And you're going to ask for the email address of the person who hires the entertainment. This is very important. You have to get their email, okay? Not just a phone call. You need to get their email, okay? Because this is how you're going to contact them. This is how you're going to send them all your information and everything to get them interested in booking you. So here's an example of a conversation um, that how it kind of goes on what, uh, an example of like when I usually call venues and how they usually respond. So they'll say, hey, it's Bob the Bar. Can I help you? And you just say, hey, I'm wondering if you hire live music there. And they'll be like, yeah, we hire musicians three nights a week. Bingo. Okay, awesome. I want to submit myself to possibly perform there. Who can I talk to? And they would say, yeah, Bob, but he's not here right now. Or Bob, he's here right now, whichever. Regardless, um, once they get him on the phone or not get him on the phone, you just let him know that you're a musician that wants to perform there. You'd like to be considered and ask them how, you know, what his email address is. Again, that's very, very important that you get their email. Other things that you can ask, how much do they pay? Make sure it's, you know, something that you is comfortable for you. If you're just starting out, guys, and they're only going to pay you 50 bucks, go ahead and do it. Do it so that you can get that experience. But if you're really amazing and you know you're amazing and you only want to do it for a few hundred bucks, you know, that's totally up to you to decide. But this is, I'm giving you options here. Ask them how long the sets are. Ask them what's required of the entertainment. If you don't know what sets are, sets are, hey, you have to perform, you know, two sets um, at one hour each or four sets of 45 minutes each, you know, they'll let you know exactly how long you perform. And then you ask them, you know, if you need to bring your own equipment, your own instruments, your own sound system. Um, some places have their own sound system and instruments. Some places do not. So if you don't have instruments or sound system, you know, you either should invest in that, which I do re uh, recommend, or if you can't afford it right now, find places that have equipment already. And you can just do that simply by calling these places and asking the question and finding out. Next thing, you're going to want to put the status, and this is where you can put that information of what they, they tell you. So after the venue answers the questions for you, make sure to write it in the status column of your chart to keep it organized. So you're going to put, you know, what they book. Hey, they book rock bands. Here's Eric, eric at booking.com. Here's his email. This is what they pay. And you can put, this is what I need to do. I need to email him links, email him links to my promo videos, you know. You're going to need to send them a video of you performing. You know, just ask them exactly what they require. Same thing here, Bob's Bar. Here's Bob at Booking.com. I need to email him links. You know, I need to send him my website or my EPK or whatever it is that they're, you know, asking for. And, you know, what the next step is, you're going to want to contact them. So now that you have their email address, you want to send them the right step to get them interested in booking you. Okay, so this is what I want you to send them. You're going to send them your name, links to your performing live, preferably one video. With it. that's a promo reel google it if you don't know how to do it if you need guidance on how to make a promo reel guys this is the most important thing that you need if you do not have one and all i'm going to tell you guys most musicians that have one do it wrong they don't format it right they don't make it correctly this is the single most important thing to get you those gigs check my description and i'll show you guys how you can find um, an entire system where i show you exactly how to make that promo reel so just check the description um, so you can see that. So you do want to send them that. You know, send them any promotional photos. If you have any short bio, a set list, you know, set list of songs you typically perform and any relevant social media links. Again, you don't have to, but if you have any that look good, that make you look good, send it to them. Instagram, fan page on Facebook or a website or that sort of thing. Again, guys, if you have a great perform uh, promo reel here, this is how I've avoided having to audition. If there are 10 people wanting to perform at a venue and one person has a great video reel, where the booking agent doesn't have to look 
and ask everybody to come and audition and sit there and watch everybody perform and instead just check out a video and go, wow, they sound good. They'll book you over anybody else. So it's very, very important. Really make sure to make sure that you have a really good one. Check my description so that you can see how I've booked gigs all over the world. Because that's another thing. If you want to book gigs, you know, I've traveled six continents. I've also done cruise ships. If you want to perform at these places and get them interested, you don't want to be buying a ticket to Shanghai to audition and then them tell you no. You've just lost thousands of dollars. Same thing with cruise ships. You don't want to have to buy a ticket to Florida to go audition. Instead, you want to send them a video. And if they love you, they're going to fly you out. They're going to cover those costs for you. So make sure to create an amazing promo video. Next thing, step five, you want to follow up. Now, this is key. This is where you're going to really get your bookings. Okay, guys. So I, this is what I do. I usually color code the status of each contact. Okay, yellow means I booked a gig. Light green means this is pending. Dark greens, dark green means they're not interested or they don't book my kind of act. So what I'll do is let's say, you know, Eric here at booking.com, I emailed him and he's reviewing now. Then I'll put it in green. So now I know in like two days, I'm going to call back and check and see if he's interested in booking me. Um, this yellow one, I'm going to highlight and be like, yes, I booked a gig done. You know, and I might put, I'm playing there on Monday. You know, they're paying me 300 bucks. You know, I need to bring my keyboard or whatever it is. I'll put that there. Now, dark green, I'm going to put, you know, maybe they're not interested. Maybe they said, you know, they don't book my kind of act. You know, they book jazz trios and I'm a rock band, whatever it is. I'll put that there. But I save this because maybe in the future, maybe you're going to have a jazz trio and you'll already have some information on gigs. So you can just call those people and email those people again. And guys, you know, don't get discouraged. You know, I want to just let you guys know that following up, some of these people won't get back to you right away and that's okay. They're very busy. Some of these people aren't just the booking agent. Sometimes they're also the waitress. Sometimes they own the bar. Sometimes they're the host. You know, there's a lot of million things that is possible and sometimes they can look at your stuff and go, wow, he or she is really good. And then maybe the phone rings and then something else happens and then they get sidetracked. So don't always think that it's a representation of you because you could be awesome, but maybe they don't have any openings. That's another thing. Maybe they're booked for the month. So then you, you know, just ask those questions, call them back the next month, find out if they have any openings then continue to follow, um, follow up, make sure they look at your material. And if they like you, just keep checking back. I say like once a month is good. You know, I mean, if they seem totally uninterested, then, you know, obviously try another venue. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this method will hundred percent work as long as you have the right materials to submit. Again, that promo video is really important. And as long as you have the talent and that you put on a great show, if after auditioning and submitting, Every single venue says no and nobody is interested. I want you to re-examine your show because maybe you need to work on that. Re-examine your talent. Maybe you need to work on that and develop that. If you have all those things in place, this will work 100%. Like I said, I've booked thousands of shows for myself and I've helped other artists and musicians and bands book gigs sometimes within seven days. Very, very quick. This is a very quick process. So that's about it, guys. It's that easy. Now, if you want more guidance, you can go to gigmagicsystem.com. I have a lot of different things that'll help you guys, um, you know, that have helped me go from being a starving musician. I used to sleep on couches for eight years. I even slept in my car. I just scraped money just so I could get, so I could eat. And now I have made a great living traveling the world, six continents. This is all I do. I don't have another job. I just perform and do what I love. So if you want to know how you can get started performing for a living, traveling the world and getting paid to use your musical talent, go to gigmagicsystem.com. Dot com, we would see if you're a good fit for my proven system, which helps musicians discover exactly how to turn their love for performing into an awesome career. If you have a job that you hate right now, guys, and you want to quit, I've helped people quit their jobs sometimes in a matter of just a few months to start performing and do what they love, hit stages, be in front of fans, sing songs that they love. It is possible. And you can read more about my story on gigmagicsystem.com. And guys, here's another thing that I'm going to give you guys for just joining me on this tutorial. If you would like to download this PDF for free, I know this might have been a lot of information for you. And if you want to be able to download this, all you have to go to is geekmagicsystem.com backslash survey. Take my quick five minute survey to receive the free download link. And you'll be able to download this entire PDF. So you can take it home, use it, and find those venues and start making money doing what you love. Like I mentioned before, if you would like to learn about how you can work directly with me and the Gig Magic system, and how so many other artists and musicians have literally started booking gigs within sometimes seven days. This is without social media, without a manager, without a record label, without tons of money, without getting discovered, without doing free shows, without doing all the things that everybody says that you need to do. You can go to gigmagicsystem.com to learn more. All right, guys, I'm Christine Morell. This is Gig Magic. 
and good luck, everybody.